You want to assemble your flood and drain hydroponic system. Remember that your flood and drain kit have a half inch and three quarter inch opening. Your three quarter inch, the larger of the two, is for the flood or the drain back to your reservoir. This way the table can never overflow. It will always allow more water out of the table than into the table as long as your three-fourths or larger hole are your drain tube. The flood drain fittings are adjustable. You can increase or decrease the amount of water that sits in the tray. This is important for clones and seedlings as oftentimes the water level needs to come up so that the root systems are getting wet. You'll see here that there's a grommet. This grommet keeps these flood drain fittings from leaking. You want to make sure that the grommet is inside the tray and then affix or tighten your flood drain fitting. Here's our 3 4 inch tubing, which is our drain. Here's our half inch tubing, which will connect to the pump. We're putting the tubing through the reservoir lid, then go into the reservoir where our half inch will connect to the pump. Our pumps have filters inside them. This is to keep the lines from getting clogged. It's a good idea once in a while to clean these filters out. Put the 120 volt power cord through the hole to minimize cord chaos and keep our environment clean and safe. Here we're affixing the half inch tubing to the pump. There are barbed valves on the pump which hold the half inch tubing firmly. Our reservoir lid keeps light from getting into the reservoir which can cause algae growth. We like to set our flood drain settings 30 minutes on and three hours off all the way around the clock. It will not come out exactly like that, more or less. We depress the pins down for on time and the pins that remain up will be our off time. Be sure that the side pin is in the up position. If you want to override and keep the pump on, you can have the side pin in the down position. Once again, we're using our cord holes to minimize some of our cord chaos. You'll notice that the flood table as well as the reservoir are food grade plastics. There is no leaching from these plastics. A lot of times some of your recycled plastic can have some leaching which can cause carcinogens in your reservoir 